All right, back with another Big Hunt Guys podcast. This one's a little special. We're sitting here in a barn <laughs> in, I hate saying states. I'm not going to say state. We're, we're antelope hunting. Archery antelope. That's right. We've got Chris Neville, Trail Kreitzer, and Dave Brinker over there in the corner. What's up? Good to finally have you on the podcast. It's good to be in antelope camp with you. Yeah. How was your day today, Dave? My day? A lot of talking to myself. Um <laughs> Holding back tears <laughs> after failed stocks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sounds like antelope hunting. Yeah. Yeah. I had a great day. There's no bad day antelope hunting. No, yeah. So we're going to get, we're going to do a, uh, like a daily recap basically. So this is the evening right now of our first day. We actually did a little scouting the past day and a half. Today the season opened August 15th and we're going to recap today. All right. And before we re- recap, we're going to do a little, uh, Love for you guys. So if you guys want to use promo code podcast, if you're not an insider and not an explorer member, you will get um, 50 points at the Go Hunt Gear Shop. You sign up for insider using promo code podcast. If you want our maps only membership explorer, promo code podcast will get you 20 points back to the Go Hunt Gear Shop. So great way to put some tools in your hand for this time of year. Get some maps. And in that, we'll talk about what we did with maps because we did a lot of pre-hunt work. Or actually, mm-hmm. trail actually did all of our pre-hunt trail put work. in the time for the crime. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> yeah. So tell, tell tell us a little bit what you did just briefly before we came on this antelope hunt because obviously doing a little east scouting is kind of essential. Before we've never been here before. You know, yeah. Of us, so. Yeah. So I think most importantly, when you're looking at antelope hunts, um, you know, water's extremely important. Uh, especially for archery hunting. So if you're going to set up a blind on a water hole, um, you know, if you're going to spot and stock, I would say by and large, most of those bucks and does are going to be, you know, congregated within, you know, a few miles at least of water sources. So I spent most of my time just, you know, cruising go hunt maps and using the aerial imagery and, you know, looking for water sources. So where that was a, you know, a pond or a spring or a seep, um, you know, any kind of source that I thought might have a little water in it, just marked it and, you know, use the uh, just the waypoints tool so I could drop individual waypoints and, you know, mark them as water and use the notes section to make some notes on, you know, what a, how good I thought the water source might be. So, so I'm going to plug you right now a little bit because you always tell me you don't do a lot of e-scouting and you want to do a lot better at it. You <laughs> nailed this one. <laughs> you, set, you created a hunt folder on Go Hunt Maps. We called it whatever it was, 2022 <laughs> Antelope. Yep. And you shared that with us and you had 95 water sources wow mark. no kidding you had 95 i was supposed to be working probably i was just cru- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a and good I, way to be working you should be doing that and i was just cru- work. cruising dropping waypoints yeah so 95 waypoints for a hunt you did a lot of work trail and it yeah it, was a little, it worked out we saw yeah. some antelope it, today it's it's working out yeah yeah i mean we're seeing antelope there's there's probably this is probably one of those areas where there's a little bit too much water even to be honest mm-hmm. i mean there's it can really spread them out across the landscape it feels like so Plus, it didn't help with the big storm. Day yeah, we got rain on pretty hard. I think you're underselling it. <laughs> we got downpoured on. We the almost rapture. lost our tent. We lost the blind. Yeah, Neville's blind is literally nowhere to Mine's be found. The bron- yeah. How long did you guys look for that thing? We Could literally took the truck and did a little bit of hiking for like a mile and a half past where the blind was. We th- figured it was a west wind, so we went all, like, we don't so know. So it was like w- a, uh, um, gosh. It wasn't like a tornado was up in the sky. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're kind of thinking. Like it literally it caught wind. Wizard like of Oz. That's Wizard exactly. of Oz. Yeah, it's been yeah. a long day. Yeah, Wicked Witch and some monkeys flew yeah. by. <laughs> yeah, it was a whole thing. Yeah, I think it's in the next state. Yeah, it's completely gone. And well. that I feel bad too because the guy we were uh, hanging out with, showing us the ropes around here, that was a brand new ground blind. That was brand a nice new. one too. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. That was a good blind. We looked today too. Neville and I made the loop back over there, checked the water hole nothing we couldn't glass it up either so Ugh. i don't know long gone but i want to get into the day to recap but brinker you got to tell us a little about yourself oh god what what's, do you your, want to what's your story dave, who are you who are dave, you what do what you, do you do? like what do you like to do dave before we turn on the podcast we were talking about our like high school career i know yeah we really should <laughs> we don't want to go into that though. <laughs> let's, let's stay out of that gosh i mean i um i uh what am i you tell why don't you do it Oh, man. I'm just putting you on the spot. You're putting me on the spot. I'm putting you on the spot. Um, you have a lot of cool, exciting things you do. And I want yeah. people to know all about your okay, exciting we can things. Talk about, yeah, so my name's Dave Brinker, and uh, I'm, I've am i been in, the, in, in or around the hunting industry for 
about 15 years now. And um, now I, uh, gosh, I'm a musician. I play, I have a podcast as well. Avid hunter, um, own multiple businesses, good friends with these guys, got the invite to come down. And uh, how long did I hesitate? You literally, I didn't even finish asking if you wanted to come on. You're like, yes, I'm in. Have I, had I asked my wife yet? No. No, you had not. <laughs> you had not asked make my that wife known. Yet. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big hunt guy. I, I did right after though. And it was, it was a, it was a big yes. Um, so yeah, no, I'm stoked to be here with you guys. And, and I, I love antelope hunting it. In where I come from in Oregon, you only get to do it maybe a couple times in your whole life, which mm -hmm. when I come out. I lived in Montana for a long time and everybody considers it kind of just this thing you can do whenever you want that's secondary to elk. And I always thought when I lived there, that's so weird because where I come from, it's like, man, I mean, some people only get to do it once or maybe zero times. So I've always tried to hold a great respect for antelope hunting. I think it's super fun. Um, it's extremely challenging. So I was stoked to come here. Yeah. Antelope hunting is very, very special. Yeah. Like, watching their demeanor throughout the whole day how they react like even like we were talking about earlier the little like kazoo or whatever you want to call it the noise they make you know when you spook them <laughs> yeah you guys got some good calls all right everyone <laughs> go around the horn do your best <laughs> <laughs> that's what one sounds like when it's spooked you don't want to make that noise. <laughs> trail trail oh, nice dave <laughs> what's, what's your antelope call oh god <laughs> so that's not an antelope so call <laughs> <laughs> that's not it <laughs> the buck tonight did their normal kazoo thing and then he goes Oh. oh, I've never heard that. Yeah, I was trying to figure it out. It sounded like a monster or like, like something Chewbacca. on Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's an antelope call. Yeah, there you is. Can buy. Yeah, you can buy. I think it. it's the zzz. Yep, I've always thought about getting one. Isn't that kind of a warning call? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> something? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Unless I want to walk around Brady's blind doing it and just sit behind it. And I mean, you guys did try to come over to my blind and poach my spot today. <laughs> they we thought about it. They didn't actually do we it. We didn't do it. Right? We were a mile and a half away. Okay, we're we're past the mile border. It's fair game. Yeah, oh, totally fair game. Yep. So how do you do you try to get an antelope hunt in every year? I do. Yeah, I put in for uh, Montana mostly because mm -hmm. when I lived in Montana, you could well as a resident, you can pretty much draw an archer tag mostly every year. It's changing a little bit now, but even non residents had a really good chance of drawing mm -hmm. the, the yep. archery antelope tag. But ever since I left there, that's changed now too. Seems like you can get it every two years now, three years. Yep. Um, but, yeah, I always put in for him. I I drew the premium tag in Oregon a long time ago. I should probably get one more of those, and I'll be done in Oregon. Do you still apply for them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in yeah. Oregon. Mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty close to getting it again. Oh, nice. Um, but, yeah, man, I like I said, spot and stock antelope. And for a long time, I did it with a recurve, which is stupid. Don't, I don't, <laughs> I can't, you don't I can't advise it? You with a recurve. Yeah. It, you were spotting and stock with a recurve? Succeeded. Yeah, it would like, be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Were, were you spotting and stock with your uh -huh. recurve? Yeah, that is challenging. Yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously, water's better for that weapon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but even with the co even with the compound, spot and stock is no gimme. I mean, they are yeah. just they are just a turned on animal. And um, I was noticing today, the 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 biggest thing you got to be careful of when you're stalking these things is watching the top of your head because they just watch for anything. You know, they can see that the coyotes, right. any, anything dark that comes over a skyline, they're like, oh. I'm out. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So like, even though your eyes might not be able to see them, you, you watch the top of your head. If you're removing your bow, um, I got caught once today when I thought I was out of sight, but I don't think my top, the top of my head was boom. But just it, those little mistakes, that's what makes it fun though. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So what, what was your first impression this morning? Because you drove in last night in the dark in that nasty rainstorm. Is it raining right it's now? It just started raining. Just started raining again? This is not good for our water holes. <laughs> no, our, our, our water plan for tomorrow yeah. just went This is not shit. good for our 95 water holes, trail <laughs> fine scouting, our determined plan of sitting water, and now it's rained for two days Do straight. Do we have the bed of his truck closed? We yeah. better close that. Oh, yeah, the thing's wide open. Yeah, it probably is open. I'm All sorry. Right. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to know what your first impression of this place was because last night you drove here and it was downpouring, absolute downpouring, dark out. And and a sweet, had, sweet had, ride, I might add. Yeah. yeah oh, you a, like that? that Robin, cool Robin's Blue, is that what yeah, they Yeah, Robin Blue Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> little mini S or like a mid-size SUV. Is it a four-wheel drive? Huh? Four-wheel drive? Oh, yeah. 
Hell yes. I was everywhere in that thing today. <laughs> Except for, for that sure going to get a flat tire. That, that mud puddle over there, though, you're asking me if you can make it through it, right? I now. was. So I was you like, you didn't know your capabilities <laughs> yet. After today, you know. Yeah. So landed in thunderstorms um, last night and drove through lightning and thunder and wind and rain all the way here. And I thought, well, look, there goes our water hole plan. Yeah. Uh, but this morning, right at daylight, uh, when I was driving to my water hole, I saw it. A really nice buck right off the side of the road. He's only 62 yards off the side of the road, just standing there looking at me. So that was a good first impression. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I got in my blind this morning, I was telling you guys, I, I, I zipped it up and I set my bow against the side. And I didn't even put my chair up yet. And I just peeked out the, the, the window and here comes a buck. I'm like, well, this is this, this is, is, cool. this is the greatest <laughs> antelope. I'm not, so, so, so before, before that, have, have you been thinking like, oh, Brady Trail and Neville have been literally scouting for two days. They got their A oh, spots picked out. Button. You're going to get the fourth spot? Yeah, for did sure. Did you have that thoughts in your head? But, you know, I'm okay with that. I, you know, I, you guys did all the work. I just show up. Just give me whatever spot. I'll figure out a way. We put you in the golden chair. And I and you realize that first second well, you sat in your there's a buck line. coming, but I was telling you guys earlier, like, it was one of those things where it was happening so fast that I didn't know if I should shoot it or not, even though it was a yeah. nice buck. It wasn't a giant, but it was a nice one. And uh, I was looking at it going, gosh, I mean, normally I would shoot it, but this is like the first 10 minutes. Right. If it's going to be like this all day, shoot. <laughs> right. I, this is going to be like just one uh, buck after the other, you know? Yep. And uh, anyways, he gets to 100 yards, and he never comes to the water. But um, no other antelope came in to the water. So – I definitely should have shot it if he would have come in. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you, you had a funny setup. Tell us about your your spot. Yeah, the, the the water that I was sitting on is like it must be like the end of a spring or something that kind of puddles up right there, um, but it's behind an old house that no one lives in. But you know they they haven't lived there for a long time, um, and uh, it just kind of sits at the bottom of this valley. And there was there was antelope scattered all all the way up through the valley. 10 or 15 of them or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I just think when I was driving there this morning, I was going through huge puddles the entire way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And around every telephone pole, there was also puddles. Yeah. Um, so I just think there was so much water from yesterday, those rainstorms. Just nothing was coming in. Yep. We literally thought it was going to be a slam dunk today. Like, oh. what did you say earlier, Trey? Like, maybe you thought maybe one or two of us probably yeah, tag I out thought, today. Yeah, I thought a couple of us could potentially tag out. Based I mean, on ba what we saw scouting yeah, yesterday. Yeah, based on what we saw scouting. And yesterday morning, it was just hot and, you know. Dry. Just hot and dry, just like you'd, you know, to hope for an opening day water set for, you know, an archery antelope hunt. And, man, that storm rolled in and it dumped. I mean, it's just every, it's like you're saying, every tire track had water in it. Mm -hmm. You know, every telephone pole, every divot had water in it. So I think you're right. I just, you know, I don't think they really had the need, you know, to, to come to water today. But, I mean, you know, you, you switch your tactics up, right? <laughs> I left after an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you made it an hour. So I'm, I'm an elk hunter at heart. Mm -hmm. And I move a lot. <laughs> if I don't, get, if I don't get an answer, I move on. Um, but I, I kind of, got the impression pretty quickly that because i watched several walk right by without even looking at it they didn't even pay attention to it so i'm like eh. plus i'd never seen the country before so i'm like yeah. even if i would have shot that buck i was going to be kind of bummed yeah because i didn't get quite the adventure yet so i got out and i went out and spot and stalked the entire day um and it just learned this learned the country uh tried to find you know different bucks kind of compare and contrast and uh Ended up, I think I made three stocks today. Uh, the first stock was a total bust at like 200 yards because I just, again, I got the his line of sight screwed up. But the second stock, actually, I think I could have got a shot off. He was laying in a really good spot, like just out, probably like 150 yards out of a wash. And if you see him laying by a wash, you're like, yes. Yeah. Because yeah. you can actually go down there out of sight. Yep. Um, but I got down there, long story short, and the doe that was laying with them, she got up and she started walking towards me. So I just laid flat with my stomach, like on cactus, which I think I still have some sticking in there. <laughs> and I just kind of just, I'm like, well, I'll just take a little rest. She can't see me. I'll just let her settle down. But anyway, she, she ended up walking by me at like 110 yards or something and went over the hill out of sight. I gave her five minutes and I thought, man, that buck's alone now. All I got to do is get to that sagebrush bush, which was like another 50 yards probably. And uh, 
so I start, I just go up to my, my, my knees again. And here I see that dang doe. I kind of look back just one more time. I see her ears pop over sagebrush bush mm. and she, you know, does the kazoo. I thought she might just run away and he might stay there, but she like circled all the way back around and grabbed him first. <laughs> <to> <laughs> the country. That's a good girlfriend. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take care of her boyfriend. Yeah. I don't blame her, you know? And then the last stock was funny because I was, I actually was, um, I didn't tell you guys this, but this might hurt your feelings. Oh, I went and got a cheeseburger one. today. Oh, nice. <laughs> there's a little bit of, a, there's a little cute little country restaurant not too far away and I was hungry. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I went and had a cheeseburger. And uh, anyways, I'm w- on my way back, I spotted a nice buck not too far from our camp um, and stalked him. But I, the wind must have changed or something. It was kind of, st- it was raining at the time. So, you know, how the wind gets when yep. there's a bunch of clouds and stuff. It was kind of swirly. Um. I think he might have winded me. I'm not sure. I got like 200 yards, not close at all. How was the burger? The burger was amazing. Was that? Stop was that, talking. I'm not going right to lie. Now. Was that one just, you just went up out the road? This way then? Yep. Yeah. I'm I was not going to lie, guys. I, was I will Im- be there tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I almost ate all my food by noon. <laughs> because here's the thing with antelope hunting it's not like elk hunting where it's like, you know, it's kind of a first couple hours, last couple hours type deal. I mean, yeah, you can pretty much find these things kind of all day. Yep. So I don't feel bad about going and getting a burger. Right. I'm on vacation. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Amen. Sounds like you had a hell of a day. I had a great day. <laughs> yeah. There's a bacon Dave cheeseburger with jalapenos all, on it. <laughs> yeah. The no kidding. We fries. might have to hit it up tomorrow, huh? Yeah, 18 minutes. Uh, you just let me know if you want to jump in. <laughs> you can't beat it. <laughs> we'll we'll in reach you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, so. that's awesome. But uh, and then right at dark tonight, I found... I actually, the first buck I told you I saw him at 62 yards off the road this morning. I saw him again tonight, and I think that's the best buck I saw all day. And uh, right before dark, I saw where he was feeding, so I'm going to check that in the morning. Not that he was an awful spot to stalk, but true. You know, um, it's just nice to see a nice buck. You know? Yeah, that's true. You, these things, you just got to find them in a vulnerable spot, and sometimes it's very rare, but when you see one, uh, a good friend of mine who's killed, like, 30 some antelope with his bow he always tells me hunt the stock not the buck so mm, yeah that's good if good it's not a good stock just keep going don't yep. even burn your energy and he doesn't really trophy hunt for antelope either because he's trying to find a great stock i mean it might be a big buck it might be just an okay buck but if it's a great stock he takes advantage of it yeah because yeah. if you if you you can burn all day trying to crawl up on one in, in that flat country and yeah. only get 500 yards away yeah right. I think that's what we always did wrong, Neville, when we hunted an antelope. We would literally, every buck we saw, you stalked. Oh, and you were I just beat up <laughs> by the end of the day. I went on a thousand stalks during that trip. And it didn't care. Yeah, it wasn't, it was a bad stock. We still went after it because like it was an yeah. antelope. But like, yeah, like you're saying, it makes sense. You're you're literally burning yourself out the whole entire time. The next stock's not going to be as effective because you're so exhausted. No, you, you're going to be lazy one. and make a mistake. Yep. Right. Yeah, that's the thing with antelope hunting. You go on a few, you know, if you if you do it right. If you really tuck in your focus and you really try to make the most of those, you, you maybe only have a few in you in a day. I mean, it's pretty exhausting. You're out oh. there in the sun. It's beating down on it's you. It's amazing how hot it is. Yeah. yeah. You get dehydrated so oh. fast. Yeah. And you have to be painstakingly slow at times when you get in close. I mean, I watched Neville today for, you know, an hour and a half on his belly, you know, army crawling. And <laughs> It's excruciating, right? I mean, it's, it's still painstaking. Did, still didn't work. It's a good yeah. ab workout, though, right? Yeah. 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 I've been doing a lot of yoga. I've noticed that. You know? <laughs> did I'm it help? More fl- yeah, for sure. You're working on those six-packs. Yeah. Flexibility. I'm definitely a little more flexible. Yeah, when you move that stock, move your bow forward, that's right. your body position. That's exactly right. Huh. Yeah, I watched him crawl, you know, back to the west, and then he reversed and went back to the east and all the way around, then north. So did you guys see a lot of antelope right away, and you just knew to go spot and stalk? Or? No, we uh, we decided, well, like you said, one of, I think the blind that you were going to sit today, if you sat, blew away. Yep. Yeah, that was So that was kind of, day. you know, abandoned. Yeah. And uh, I put in another blind on a water hole. I'd seen a pretty good buck with maybe 20 does um, the morning before. Um, but I just barely put it in, like, you know, right about dark last night and so we just decided to spend the day just cruising and spotting stock and yeah we were thinking if anything let it dry up this morning let it dry out sit in blinds set some new blinds up sit in the afternoon if we felt it was a need but so you saw that buck yesterday on that water drinking um i saw a yeah yesterday i saw a buck um with like 20 does come off of a water hole Mm. yeah and I, i put a blind on it last night and was you know 
I was going to sit today, but I thought, oh, I'll give it a day. I'll go bum around with Neville and see if we can put some stocks on. And I don't know. We, we had one good stock. I mean, Neville had a really good stock, and, you know, it almost came to – I thought it was going to work. I mean, the buck was bedded by himself, and, you know, he crawled in and kept – kept going kept going and at one point he had the buck you know facing dead away from him and he was crawling in from behind him and what maybe 45 minutes into the stock he yeah. stood up and rebedded yeah he kept he kept standing up rebedding standing up rebedding because i was like, just trying to work the angles to get like directly behind him and then finally i think i was like 150 yards and he stood up and he saw me and then he did your classic antelope just walk right at you yeah, oh, yeah. Curiosity. I'm like laying Curiosity. on my belly. I'm like shit. <laughs> so he had an arrow knocked and got ready. And then he probably got to 80 yards and he started angling. And I tried to draw, but and hoping he'd sit there for about 10 seconds and stare at me, but that wasn't the case. He didn't like you. <laughs> nope, he was off. Literally stood up, gone. <laughs> yeah, run. And then I chased him for a little bit because I was pissed. Because <laughs> that's effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chase. He was he was going like off this cliff. I thought if I <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna do it. we were going old school. Okay. We were push, push him off. Yeah, just just jump. like the buffalo bison jump. run, antelope jump. <laughs> I was hoping I could maybe cut him off. He was going underneath like a cliff band, but he nope. ran for another two miles. No yeah, problem. then we cruised the rest of the day. Saw some antelope. Didn't see many bucks today, actually. A we lot saw, of does. Yeah, we saw lots and lots of does, which is totally opposite of our scouting. Yeah, before. we saw a lot. Yeah, I mean, we still we saw. Fair number of bucks mm-hmm. the day before, but we um we tried a couple other bucks that we did see. We tried the old cow moo cow decoy, and they <laughs> did not like that. Set that up, gone. <laughs> What's up with that? You think? I don't know. It was really weird. We crawled out to it and kind of got to a point we could see one buck and three does bedded, and it was just kind of a point where this is about as far as you're gonna get, you know, based on where they're bedded. And thought we'll pop this cow decoy and just see if we can close the distance and we pop that thing up and they immediately stood up and beelined it for Gone. the next county. Yeah, it just <laughs> took Maybe off. That herd had like a really bad, you know, bad. cattle experience back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Traumatized. Stepped on a, you know, wet cow patty and almost broke the Yeah, they did not like that. Nope. But Gone like the wind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we kind of rounded out the day just by checking out some new country. Saw a nice buck there before dark. Put another blind in on, on a water hole that we'd found. Had some tracks there at the one end of it, and it looks promising. And It was good. I mean, overall, it was a good day. Saw a lot of country. Burned a lot of braised gas. Yeah, we did. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you guys did burn almost all my gas. <laughs> yeah, gone. You guys know what the <laughs> gas to the point where are both of us have to go get gas in that's, the morning prior to that. And, and remember, like, it, you didn't hear this part, but literally I brought a five-gallon gas jug got to trails house before driving up here and we ran out of room it was either the archery target or the gas jug mm-hmm. and they're like yeah Easy we don't choice. need the gas jug yes we need the archery target but have we shot the archery target no. yet You're, no trail sitting on it right now yeah, yeah. we've Makes never shot chair. that archery target do not have the gas jug so now in the morning we have to wake up super early most I likely think we have enough gas yeah, if I think you guys don't drive too. around tomorrow, we probably have enough. But I'm worried if we go to this gas station, if it's a pay at the pump or it's a go inside to pay. Yeah, I think we have enough gas tomorrow for sure. One thing about antelope country is you got to pay particular attention to your gas situation. Yes. It feels like. Yeah, it makes me nervous. Yeah, I've had some hunts in Nevada where I remember, you know, starting the the odometer and driving out and being like, "Okay, can't go." one step further i have to turn around <laughs> and hightail it back or i'm yeah. not going to make it for gas so. i'm really excited for tomorrow's podcast and maybe we have a crazy story about us running out of gas I and don't know, no, I don't like that. having to walk walk forever <laughs> this story sounds terrible that sounds like a terrible story well that's why i, I, I hope had that gas that jug story. we left it at trails house i hope it's a better it's story a couple dead bucks okay that's gonna be a good one does your car sh- show you how much mileage you have left on that no gas my car's oh, oh, uh, yours is mystery computer screen is broken <laughs> oh. oh wow! So I have a blank screen. How long's your gas light been on? I've I've, <laughs> I've really I'm, I've got this down to. I science. have a quarter of a tank. Oh, bro, you got plenty. Yeah, you're golden. Me- remember that time we were in Nevada? I burnt a quarter today with mm. your old truck, and oh, we yeah. drove literally forever, and we thought we were gonna run out. A I long think time everyone ago. should figure out how far you can go once your truck but hits I, e. What is it? 18 <laughs> miles to that gas station? Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. You had 96 when we left. Yeah, it's here. 96 left, and I'd be so like 80 f- something now. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's plenty. 80 miles tomorrow is all we can drive. Yeah. Your, your guys' spot's like two hours away. Your <laughs> <laughs> really spot's about 70. Hey, I don't want to have to rescue you guys from the desert, okay? Yeah. Worth it. <laughs> all right. If we kill a buck, it'll all be worth it. It adds to the story. Right. I think we are tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Does it feel like tomorrow's the day? Well, 
<laughs> if the rain keeps away. Yeah, it's supposed to. If it dry, I noticed a huge difference between this morning mm-hmm. and tonight. Yeah. There, tonight there was no puddles in the road. Yeah, it's crazy how fast it. It, it sucked it right up. Um, yeah. It just felt dry tonight. Yep. But there still is a lot of water out there. Yeah, if you actually there's look. a ton of water. Um, yeah, but it did suck up a lot of water. I mean, even you know roads that we were riding on in the morning that were muddy were completely dried out mm-hmm. and easy. Yeah. easy and driving. Trail and I were talking earlier. You know, if they got their if they got their water off, sort of just when they're eating yesterday, because everything was soaked. Yeah, probably buys them like a day, with mm-hmm. that, but tomorrow, I think might be a little bit different. Yeah, I think tomorrow mid morning to like maybe that three o'clock time frame, sun's beating down, time to get a drink. Yep, game over. Zip zip. And that's what I'm hoping for my spot too. Yeah, Brady, tell us how your day was. You're the only one that stayed strong and sat water all day. Long. I sat water. I, I will say, sun I, up I, to I admire dark. your dedication. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 ma- I made it an hour, and I was having a big <laughs> cheeseburger. And, <laughs> and you almost had one come in. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I'm really excited for this hunt because I've never killed an antelope over a ground blind. I've killed all my archery bucks. Killed quite a few of them in Montana, all spot and stock. So I was really excited to sit there all day. I was so jacked to read. How many pages do you think I read today? Zero. None. Zero. I was going to say. I was, I was so <laughs> excited when I sat in my ground blind. I was just like, I put up my spotter. I was like glassing everything with my spotter from my ground blind. I was pulling up my, my bind. I was picking up everything I could try Could you to see. see antelope all day? No. But I was trying to <laughs> see antelope. I <laughs> no. I didn't see I was shit. trying to. I, I glassed up the same herd of cattle. Did your phone Mul- work? Uh, I had one bar of service. Okay. So, so you uh, could still scroll Instagram. I was still... Doing a little bit of scrolling. I was on Slack working way too much, and I hope Go Were Hunt you on appreci- TikTok? I've never been on TikTok. I will refuse. I downloaded it once to reserve it on Go Hunt, and I deleted the app afterwards. I hate TikTok. I think okay. it's dumb. I thought we could see, might see a Brady yeah. Miller no. uh, dance yeah. in, the blind. in no. the blind. Did you shit in your blind? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did that happen? <laughs> we were talking we about that. We did get that. a text message. Yeah. That said, what did uh, it say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can say it. <laughs> say it, Brady. <laughs> you established you, a piss Brady? corner. Uh-huh. I was gonna. Uh, I love the office, and so I was always referencing. I'm gonna establish a piss and <laughs> you know number two corner in my ground blind for trail. <laughs> for <Yep>. me, <laughs> for you. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's your ground blind. Oh right, like, yeah. My mark blind. a little corner. Yeah, like don't, leave something don't, in the don't do that. But uh, no, no. I ran outside as fast as I could to do my how, business. How so? What was your tactics on that? How far did you get away from the blind? <laughs> and when you got out, were you scared you were going to spook something? Yeah. Yeah, I was really scared. So I zipped the door down a little Did bit. Did you hold it? Did you time it? Like, all right. Oh, yeah. I knew I had, like, and I grabbed the toilet paper, which always helps make it, you know, happen a little quicker. What time <laughs> What time of day? Was it prime time? Uh, no, this was like about 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. So I, I had seen some antelope, but. You couldn't hold it anymore. No, I needed to, to go outside. So literally. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of podcast would you be to <laughs> So literally, I timed it perfectly. I had the toilet paper, knew my spot. I zipped it down, looked at this little spot where I felt like I was slightly hidden from some antelope. I knew the antelope, only antelope I'd seen were in the front of my blind. So I kind of knew the blind was going to block me. Okay. So I run out there. Literally, it's only not even 10 feet behind my blind. I didn't go very far. And right away when I started, you know, I thought I heard a vehicle. So again, I'm trying to rush, but it wasn't a vehicle at all. I don't know what I was hearing, but... <laughs> So you're, 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 you're is this all on GoPro? You were nervous. We told him to. <laughs> I was really nervous. We said, get I, your GoPro out and do a video. Did, I, you, I, did you tell the GoPro you're going number two? No, I didn't. Dude, I, I didn't document. we're vlogging. I know. We're supposed to do a lone style. <laughs> we're supposed to be vloggers this trip. So, right. yeah, I'm out there, and I'm literally the whole time, I'm like, this is probably the one time an antelope's going to come over this hill right behind me, because only like 400 yards behind me is a hill, and I'm going to miss it and spook it and wreck it. And so I just did it as fast as I can and got back in my blind. <laughs> Like so rushed. <laughs> are you going to pull an all dayer again? I'm going to pull an all dayer again tomorrow. So I had right away when I got there. Well, you guys dropped me off, and then that whole road the night before, we almost buried my truck. Like mm-hmm. it, we wouldn't have buried it, but like we couldn't get out of this rut. Like it was, we were stuck in there for a long time until we finally got out. And uh, I started hiking to my blind, and it was way further than I thought I was going to be. Yeah, it's kind of a jaunt. It's a jaunt to my blind. So everything's hiking. further than it looks here. Yeah. Mm. So I remember I got in my blind, like literally maybe hour and a half later, I spotted a doe bedded down out in the field. Like, I'm like, yeah, it's going to be an awesome day. I got a doe bedded down. Kept watching that doe, thinking there was going to be a buck somewhere nearby. All of a sudden, the sun starts baking on. I'm like, all right, come my way. It's getting hot out. You need to drink. 
she bedded down almost the entire day, just like sat there. Hmm. Never and drank. Never drank again because all that water, that rainstorm. So then I started seeing all these little, uh, I don't know what you call them, snipes, mm -hmm. like little birds in the water. Started picking up all the beetles. I took a million photos of them. I was really bored at this point. Okay. Still thought about reading my book. Did not read What's it. What's the book you got? Uh, David Goggins' book, Can't Hurt Me. Hmm. So I was uh, jacked up out there. I'm on my second. I'm, I'm <laughs> on my second book crew too. <laughs> yeah. I'm on my second read of that book. I love that book. So Where, I've been did looking. You, did you take it out for reading material when you went and took a shit? <laughs> no, I did as fast <laughs> as I could. So I get back on the block. Quick as possible. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm taking pictures of all these birds. I'm starting to glass the cattle again. And then uh, all of a sudden I look behind me once because I had my little window open because I wanted some wind breeze through. And there was a doe, like a little beeline right to the blind. I'm like, wow, I should have been paying attention over here the whole day. But like, I can't really see anything that way. She came really 100 yards from me, went right to water, drank, and then she's only there 20 seconds and then bounced again and went back the exact same way she came from. Hmm. So like, all right, they're hitting water. It's going to be good. That one doe, maybe there's a buck there. Maybe it'll eventually come my way. She still sat out there all day and just sleeping, never came over. But then in the afternoon, I around like one, I saw this pretty good buck again from behind me. Starts milling around, thought about stalking him, but I was like, no, I'm just going to be do, do, do my diligence and just stay in my blind all day. He beds down. That takes a lot of discipline. Oh, yeah. And he, like we said earlier, like the distance, like I thought I could easily just stalk to this one little spot and shoot him right there, but yeah. like, it was way further. What Brady I and I were talking about is sometimes in the desert, you like look in your binoculars or a spotting scope, and you'll see like a antelope bedded for an instance, and you'll see like a sagebrush. But you'll be planning your stalk. You'll be like, if I get to that bush, mm -hmm. I think I can shoot from that bush. Yep. And I think my rule is it's always four times further than you think it is. So I, if you yeah. think it's four 50, times it's is one hundred percent accurate. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, it happened to me today. I got to the bush I wanted to get to where I thought I'd be like a hundred and it was three twenty. Wow. Yeah. It's it's so deceiving. It's just really right weird how it all looks really close. Yeah. Yeah, but then I had that buck just bed down right there and I'm like, all right, I have all day. I'm gonna wait you out. And then hours start going by. I'm staring at the same exact spot, glassing it. I should be reading my book right now, but I'm not because I'm wanna find this buck. And I want to see him come in so I can get ready. Cause I'd have to reposition all my stuff in my blind if it, he came in that way. And then finally he got up, fed for 15 minutes, and bedded down again up higher on the hill. So now I, there's no way I can stalk him. But now again, since I'm really bored, I took my spotting scope out and got hours of digiscope of him. And I was vlogging. I, I did take the GoPro out, vlogged it, showed it a little bit for you. a big buck right now. I don't kind know what to do. Right I, was, I, was, I was like, <laughs> I was envisioning myself for your brother on those like old <laughs> whitetail films you guys remember. Oh, yeah. I, was like trying to, I was trying to do that stuff for you. That's right. <laughs> Good job, Brady. Yeah, so I just watched that buck forever, and I was like, okay, he's he's bedded. Eventually, he's going to get up. Maybe he'll feed for a little bit and then come to water. So he got up, fed, and then went the exact opposite direction of the water mm -hmm. and went up and over the ridge. Well, Never tomorrow, to he's going to be thirsty. He's going to be thirsty tomorrow. I have he high hopes for that The spot. thunderstorms today mm -hmm. sprinkled a little bit, but they mostly missed us. Yep. Yeah. See, I think I only saw three antelope all day, but mm -hmm. I had fun. Like, literally, I maybe napped for 15 minutes, maybe 20. But I was up glassing from my blind. Do you think when you nap, the buck he came slept up? for three hours? No, I actually <laughs> didn't. Laid down. I actually did not. He no. passed out. <laughs> His son loves. I thought I'd be bored, but I actually really enjoyed sitting in the ground blind. But I, I like think it's it too. Like I said, I really just wanted a glass because that's normally what I do all the time. So I literally yeah. just constantly had my binos up, had my spot. Yeah, if you're up. in a ground blind where you can glass. Yeah, it was fun. The trouble is if you're in a ground blind where you can't see anything, mm -hmm. those are the ones that drive you crazy. Which your ear is pretty tight, right? Where you're the at? first spot, yeah. yeah. Where I'm sitting tomorrow, I can see. Yeah. So I don't know. I have high hopes tomorrow. Just, just this rainstorm will stop, but it's going to be dry tomorrow. The antelope didn't drink today. They're going to be thirsty. Yep. We're going to shoot four. <laughs> we might. We got six blinds out. So it's, I was telling Neville, it's a little bit like like whitetail hunter now, picking your tree stand. Yep. Should we play the wind? Play the wind. Play the wind. Nah. Nah. Just go pick a blind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're not playing the wind. And hope we don't run out of gas. I think we'll be fine. Are yeah. you, you've made the call. You're not going to go get gas. I'm leaving that up to Neville. I say we so should. So you, your spot's 45 minutes from here. 45 minutes. Which it's only is what? 15 miles. 15 miles. 15 miles. It takes 45 it's minutes. So okay. you got to think, there and back 30. So we're going to turn off the AC the entire time to save on gas. Windows down the whole time. Maybe. 
You <laughs> <laughs> may not be willing to sacrifice that. <laughs> you got you got thirty Darren back. We are, we're about eighty right now. Yep. And then you got let's say twenty to the gas. You're gonna be cutting a real. There's tight. fifty. That's an extra thirty miles. Extra thirty miles we get. And hope that gas station's open and hope it. There's got to be a rancher around pump. here with a gas tank. Yeah, we'll be good. It's plenty of wells. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll risk it. We can do Let's it. risk it. Let's risk it. <laughs> risk well, it. Well, for the content. I just really Anybody who wants a it. bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> 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 we, we can't go there because we have to get gas first. If we can, <laughs> so. Actually, tomorrow I might be out on that since I'm sitting in the ground blind. Yeah. yeah. Well, good good luck to everybody tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. That was day one recap, 2022 antelope hunt. Tomorrow's a new day, boys. Let's yeah. let's shoot them tomorrow. Draw back your. I need a. Did you draw back your bow a lot in the blind? Nope, not one time. I didn't oh, see I drew back 50 times. That boy, birdie. I was so in the zone. <laughs> I was worried my D lip was gonna snap. He's all jacked back up so on much. Adderall. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, he just got to read now. He's chapter Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah he's I'm really. An, I want to read tomorrow. So hopefully the antelope will come in quick and I get it done and I can read the rest of the day. Can cool. I borrow your uh, your uh, cam book? Yeah, you can borrow the endure. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Let's do uh, another one of these tomorrow night, boys. Yeah. Yeah, Good stay luck. Stay tuned. We're gonna do like Brady mentioned, kind of a daily series. I think we're gonna release them all at once. Yeah, we should do that. So it'll be four or five of these episodes, daily series of the old antelope hunt. Maybe maybe they'll be in the ground blind and they can download and listen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. You, you can listen to us uh, talk about our hunt. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Good luck.